Hey guys, how's it going? Today in this video, we're going to be looking at the ID Cooling SE214 XT CPU cooler. So to give you some quick background, I've been using this CPU cooler for about a year now, and it replaced the original stock AMD Wraith CPU cooler. All right, let's look at a video of this installed in my system real quick so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. Mine is white, but they do also come in black. All right, so we can go over the specs of this real easy by heading over to the website and seeing all of the compatible CPU sockets it fits in, seeing the weight, 500 grams, the noise, 26 decibels, and seeing our power input well, around three watts. So I will put my PC specs right here somewhere, but um, I have a Ryzen 5 3600, so the CPU is not that demanding, so it doesn't get too hot. So the Wraith cooler I had on it did fine, but this CPU cooler with the giant heat sink it has on it and the giant fan connected right to it um, does more enough, more than enough for cooling for your system um, if you're just running an i5 or um, a Ryzen 5. So an i3, Ryzen 3, i5, Ryzen 5, this CPU cooler will be more than fine. Um, if it's an i7, Ryzen 7, i9, Ryzen 9, then you'd probably want something a little bit better to cool that system because those CPUs get a little hotter. This CPU cooler also connects to your motherboard RGB, so you can use your um, onboard RGB application to control the lights on this. Um, which I think is something that doesn't come a lot with these very um, inexpensive CPU coolers. They usually have a RGB remote that you have to use with them, so that's a good plus. Another thing I wanted to say was that these fans are super quiet. Um, there's just one fan going on it, so granted there shouldn't be that much noise coming from it, but even when my CPU is getting a little hot and I've been gaming for a while, um, I never hear any noise coming from my system. And honestly, for the money, you don't need anything bigger than this or better than this if you just have an i5 or a Ryzen 5 um, because the temperatures that they get to aren't going to be that hot and you're not going to need a super good CPU cool cooler or a liquid cooler or a water cooling system. You're just going to need a simple heat sink with a fan attached to it like this is um, and it'll save you a bunch of money too. So again, guys, um, I would recommend this CPU cooler to anyone looking for a cheap CPU cooler to add a little bit of flair to their setup um, that will get the job done. I've never seen my CPU get over 150 degrees um, and I play a bunch of games on it all the time and it has no problem cooling it um, and it looks a lot better than the stock one so if you guys have been thinking about getting this and spending 15 bucks on it which is not a lot to spend on a CPU cooler um, I recommend you do because it's been working great for me and I think it will for you too. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.